Most of poultry diets usually consist of corn, soybean, and other plant products which have low content of calnitin. And I'm going to explain what this calnitin is, whereas the feedstuff of animal origin are high in content of the calnitin. What is this calnitin and how does it work? This calnitin is a zwitterionic compound that is naturally occurring and it is vitamin-like compound that acts as a carrier to transport long-chain fatty acids into the mitochondria where energy is created by the cells. Therefore, if this carnitin occurs in excess, it is going to make more protein energy available for growth. Therefore, the chickens will grow much faster if this carnitin is put in feeds or drinking water for your chickens. My name is Dominic Ngatho, an animal scientist. I review scientific reports on poultry farming together with my team so as to help you level up your production and make more profits. Subscribe for more. And this is how carnitine will make your chickens grow much faster and gain more weight. So I'm going to show you the results of this research that was conducted. Also, I am going to show you the specific amount that you're going to put in drinking water or in feeds so that you may get the desired result. So what is this result that we desire to get? After the calnitin was given to chickens, the chickens achieved 1.8 kilograms after 35 days, while the control, which had no calnitin, had 1.6 kilograms. So that is increase of body weight gain. Also, the calnitin had a lesser feed intake so the chicken consumed less feeds when they were given the calnitin so that means that the energy levels of the chicken with calnitin they were able to be achieved much more faster compared with the feeds without calnitin so the chickens did not have to eat more feeds the other thing is that the feed conversion ratio was higher in feeds which had calnitin so the chickens were able to convert most of the energy in the feeds into metabolizable energy which is used for growth and development. The other impact that the calnitin had on the chickens is that the chickens that consumed the calnitin in their feeds had less amount of cholesterol in their blood compared to the ones that did not consume the calnitin. The other effect of this calnitin on chickens is that it increased the amount of red blood cells and hemoglobin. Therefore, more oxygen was able to be affinity, so more oxygen will be transported to the muscles where it is needed for metabolism. Also, the white blood cells which fight diseases were higher in number compared to when the chickens were not given the calnitin. Therefore, the calnitin seems to increase the immunity of your chickens. And now, the final impact that this calnitin had on the chickens is that the carcass quality in terms of the dressing weight, the abnormal fat, the liver percentage, the gizzard, the heart weight were higher compared to the ones which had not consumed carnitine. Therefore, if you are taking your chickens, the products such as heart, gizzard to other markets, the weight will be much higher when given carnitine. Therefore, what amount of carnitine do you require to add in the chicken feeds? You are going to add 50 milligrams 50 milligrams of this calnatin for every one kilogram of feeds and where can you get this calnatin you can get it from any drugstore such as a pharmacy and also you can get it online in websites such as amazon and jumia if you like to receive 10 summarized scientific content such like this one so that you can increase the production of your chickens come and visit me at my website Agri Business Insider and be sure you're going to get this and click on this video here to learn how you can increase the growth of your chickens using neem tree which is always used in India.